Another question I've gotten asked several times lately because things are sitting on the market. Listings are sitting on the market. What do you do, Ricky? How do you get these listings to sell? You don't. You set expectations with your seller and say, listen, so I'm going to get a little fired up on this one because I am just extremely passionate about what I'm going to talk about in this video. And it concerns the next four weeks. Yes, that's right. Starting today, Monday, the 27th of November, you've got four full working weeks with no holidays whatsoever. Christmas is Monday the following week. You've got literally a full month right here with no distractions. The only distractions you have is that the fact that the market is as slow as it's been since 2008, okay? And we're in the winter, which is normally slower. That's just data, okay? It varies from market to market. But when you look at January, okay, when you look at the first week of January every year for the last how many ever years, it starts out really slow, and that first week, Pending deals spike, which make home sales spike the first week of February, okay, 30 days after they went under contract, which means they start looking January 1st, okay? So I'm just laying this out for you, how important the next four weeks are to 2024. The most important four weeks of 2024 are not even in 2024, they're right now starting today. I have to get this message out extremely loud to you right this second. I want to talk about new home sales in this video. I want to talk about the 2024 business planning session I'm going to do Friday that you need to be at at 4 p.m. Eastern. We're going to put our business plans together for the year and absolutely prepare for domination. All right. You do not prepare. You do not take advantage. Let me say you don't take advantage of a market surge like we're going to see in January. Is it going to be the surge? No, I don't think it's going to be the surge where rates come down and we see this tsunami. But we're going to have the normal surge of the market in January. And you don't take advantage of that surge when it's happening or after it started. You take advantage before it starts, which is right now. You need to time block out the next four weeks for just full 120% focus on database growth, right? You're going to get some sales. You're going to do a few sales, whatever, but you need to talk to people you have never talked to before to plant those seeds, begin those relationships, put them in your database for the weekly email so that you can fully take advantage. Like, if you don't do this, you're not taking full advantage of the opportunity that's right in front of you. And January is going to come around. You're going to be busy selling, but you're not going to realize how much you missed out on by not going all in now in December. Okay, so I just really want you to think about this. That's why I want to make this video today so that you know what the next four weeks, the the the, the how important these next four weeks are. Okay. So right now, Red X is doing their Cyber Monday deal. Right now, today, you can get everything that they have for $300 a month. That's normally like four, five, six, seven hundred bucks a month. You get everything for $300 and $299. I'm going to put a link in the description. You need to go do that right now. Take advantage of that. And then be ready Friday to put our business plans together so that we can absolutely crush it. I'm going to talk about Friday, what you should do for the next following three weeks to prepare for the surge that we're going to see in January. Now, stepping back a little bit to new home sales. We have new home sales here that dipped in October, but we still remain strong on the year. Now, what do I want you to do with new home sales? This is what I want you to think about. Because a lot of people are like, well, what about the buyers who, who you know, they don't want to get in and, you know, they, they, the rates are too high. Builders are giving lower rates, ladies and gentlemen. You, you should know this already. You need to go to your local builders and say, what's your best deal on mortgage rates right now? Okay, what are you guys doing? There's builders doing in the fours right now around the country. Definitely plenty of them in the fives. Okay, you need to figure out what their best product is, how, many, how much closing costs they're going to take care of, and know everything about what they've got. And every buyer you run across, that's what you need to be telling them. Hey, listen, I know mortgage rates are 7.3 right now, but I can get you in something for 5.3 in a brand new home. Let's go take a look. You know, seller, uh, property owner, you, you want to upgrade to a brand new home? I can get you in one for, you know, 5.1, 5.5, 4.8 right this second if you're ready to upgrade into something new. And that's something I would do if it was you guys. I would, you know, the inventory went up in new homes, went up to 7.6 months of inventory. We were much higher this time last year. We're in the nine 
nine range, nine months of inventory. So we're lower. It's it's risen a little bit for the past couple months, but we're still lower than we were last year. You need to understand what a good strategy right now could be. Calling subdivisions using Red X to call property owners that own properties around these new subdivisions and ask if they want to upgrade into a new home at a you know 5.2% mortgage rate. And then you're listing their home, you're selling them that home, and you've got a client for life. I would be crushing this right now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, digging into the new home sales, just, just to give you a, a sneak peek in here, we're 5% we're lower than we were last month. Okay, so it slowed down. We're 17% higher than we were last year. And the median price of new homes went down 409. The average was uh, 487. Okay, and the months of supply went up to 7.8. Again, we were at nine around nine months this time last year, and prices also went down last year with new home sales. Okay, but they went up in December. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that December report looks like. That'll come out in January. So we still got another home sales report for November to come out before we actually see that. But I'm going to be interested to see. And by that time, hey, it doesn't even matter anyway. Now we're in the thick of it, right? It's going to be January. It's going to be balling. We're going to be showing properties, selling properties, listing properties. It's going to go crazy. Another question I've gotten asked several times lately because things are sitting on the market. Listings are sitting on the market. What do you do, Ricky? How do you get these listings to sell? You don't. You set expectations with your seller and say, listen, this is as slow as it's been since 2008. Interest rates, mortgage rates have went up higher, faster than they have in, you know, 100 years, whatever. And we're in the winter where it's normally slow. So here's the thing, Mr. Seller. Might we get lucky and sell it before the end of the year? Sure. It can always happen. We're going to do our best. But let's plan on January. If you get anxious before then, if you get a little over anxious, let's lower the price a little, right? And by the way, here's one in your neighborhood that went under contract in a day. It was priced this much under yours. So we know where we need to be if we want immediate results. If you want to do that or not, I don't know. It's up to you. But you've got to set the expectations with your sellers right now. And you know what you should look at this situation as? Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jesus. I can stack inventory. If things are sitting on the market, you can stack. You can probably get to 10, 20 more listings before the end of the year. You can get 20 listings before the end of the year and go into January when things start going under contract that first week and put you know, 11 of your 20 listings under contract in the first part of January to close first part of February. And guess what? Your year is, is, is starting off with a bang. I'm not editing this video. This is me just talking uh, on just pure passion <laughs> of the business and understanding the opportunity that's right in front of us. Now, moving through, I'll show you a calendar. Look here, here's here's December, or here's, here's November 27th right here, all right? And this week, guess what? No holidays. Next week, no holidays. Week after, no holidays. Week after, no holidays. All the way till that Monday is Christmas. Even Christmas Eve is on a Sunday. You've got zero distractions, zero excuses for the next four weeks to go out there and absolutely crush it and prepare for what's going to happen in January. If you're, if you're not excited about this and if you think to yourself, oh, that's BS or I'm not going to take advantage. You know what? If it doesn't surge in January, but you increase your database by say a hundred people, 50 people, 200 people, guess what? You still win big because it doesn't matter. Again, why are we focusing on what the market is doing? I've told you guys, closings happen regardless of market conditions. So if closings happen every day, regardless of market conditions, why are we, uh, you know, basing what we're going to do on a daily basis on market conditions? A lot of people are saying, well, nobody's doing anything right now. So what does it matter? Why, why, you know, uh, uh, you know what, what's the use of going out there and trying so hard right now? Nobody's doing anything. We're working for, you know, March, April, May. We're working for 2025, 26. The seeds you plant now are going to take a while. That's why you need to plan as many as possible. But right now, when it's slow, you have time to do it. Go to the link in the description. Get the Red X Cyber Monday bundle. Get it. That's all you need. You don't need any other marketing. Okay, you make calls all morning, make videos all afternoon, do your weekly email, and check the MLS hot sheet every month, every morning. You are done. You do that for a decade, guess what? You are the number one agent. That's 10 years though, Ricky. Yeah, but you're making millions and time's going to go by regardless if you do it or not. So, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. 
I'm fired up about this. I want you to be on my 2024 business planning session Friday. I want you to get the Red X Cyber Monday deal now because if you let it today go by and you don't get it, you're going to be upset that you didn't get it because you're going to realize, wait a minute, that's all I need. Why? Well, because every lead generation activity leads right back to the same thing, having a conversation with your prospect. And if you can just bypass all the time, money and energy that most people spend on open houses and and ads and Zillow and, uh, you know, all the things that they do and say, you know what, I'm going to skip all that. I'm going to hack the entire system, go around that back door and just call the exact person I want to do business with for a penny and create that relationship, have that conversation, build that rapport so that I can help them buy and sell property for the rest of their life. I don't have to go through all that stuff. Then you're going to realize it before after it's too late if you don't take advantage of what's going on right this second. So grab that. Be on the, the call Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'm ready to rock and roll. 2024 is going to be the best year of your career up to this point. <laughs> because guess what? 2025 is going to be better because all this compounds every single year. And so if you get on the Ricky train and you realize that it doesn't matter what we make this month, last month, this year, it doesn't matter. What matters is business development, database growth, relationships created and remarketed to through what? The weekly email. I'm going to be talking about all this uh, Friday on the call. I'll see you there. All right. Let me know in the comments what you think. If there's anything, any questions you have or anything I can do to help you. I want to see you crush it in 2024. Let's go.